Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian Wright. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello and welcome to I Do Anything, the show that sees people go to extraordinary lengths in facing their personal fears and phobias in order to secure a dream for a loved one. People like Denise Walker, who last week faced her worst fears and completed a skydive with the Red Devils, so that her seven-year-old daughter Anna's dream could come true of joining the dancers of the Royal Ballet. And we'll see how she got on later. But first, I think it's time to find out from you lot if you are prepared to do something for someone else. Can you help me with this? Hey, how you doing? What's your, what's your name? Lindsay. How you doing? Fine, thank do you, you. What about, do you like the ballet? Yeah. Did, when you was younger, did you ever want to be a ballerina? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, who's that? Who, who are you with tonight? My mum. Hey mum, how you doing yeah. mum? You okay? Yes, fine, thanks. Mum, you don't mind if I borrow Lindsay for a second, <laughs> do you? I just want to talk to Lindsay about some stuff. You don't mind if I borrow, do you? Not at all. Come with me, Lindsay. Give Lindsay a round of applause, everybody, please. <laughs> Lindsay, come with me. So, Lindsay, the show's called I Do Anything. Yep. So I want to ask you, right, would you be prepared, for instance, for your mum to do anything, to see your mum's dream come true? Yeah. You would do? Well, I think so. What about your dad? Would you be prepared to do anything to see a dream come true for your dad? I think so. He's a good dad? He's a cool dad? Yeah. Would, where, Very is, cool. he, is he up there? No, just my mum. Yeah? Your dad didn't come? Mm. Look, he would, look, he's missed it all. We only got two tickets. Oh, <laughs> so he couldn't come. Your dad actually is here. Come on in, Neil. Come in, come in and say hello. You know that guy? You know that guy? I know that guy. Well, how are you doing, Neil? Oh, nice one. Well, she doesn't think you're here. How are you? Oh, my God. You don't think so? Well, is that your dad? Yes, it is. It is your dad. Well, calm it down a bit. And let you watch this, and it might explain a few things. Have a look at this. I'm outside the windmill in here in Greater Manchester. Inside is Neil Thompson, who's having a quiet lunchtime drink. But what he doesn't know is that I'm about to become his new barman. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do this, man. It's, you know, let's say footballers and like, the pub kind of thing. You know, I'm gonna turn. Hey, Neil Thompson, how you doing, yeah? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Can I have a drink? Uh, you don't mind me just no, sitting here and wallowing in this a bit because, like, you know, they always say the footballers and pubs and you must be wondering what's going on. What's... I am. You are? I'm shocked, yeah. You don't know what it's about? No. You've got no idea? I haven't got a clue. I think what we should do is maybe we should have a drink and sit down and talk about some stuff. Okay, mate. You fancy that? Yeah. Now, can I pull one of these in a minute? Yeah. I'd love that. I just don't want to pull a pint. <laughs> you know anything? You got on your shopping Yeah, just about here, yeah. Yeah? You contacted us about someone very special to you. Who is it? Tell us about it. It's uh, my daughter, Ian. She's called Lindsay. She's uh, 21. Uh, she's currently studying for a degree uh -huh. at Manchester University in uh, industrial and product design. All right. Why do you nominate her? Because we, uh, we love her to bits. She's a gem. All her friends love her to bits. Um, even though she's studying for a degree, She's always found the time to look after her, her nana, who's 81. She's there every night and weekends making sure she's okay. So, what would her dream be? What is her dream? Ever since she's been young, she's, uh, she's always been catwalking up and down to be a model. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's all, because of her size, she's now. How tall is she? She's five foot two. I uh, just want something special for her. Mm. And I know how much it means to her to be a model. Well, Neil, we found someone in the modelling world who's not bothered about her height. Fantastic. Yeah? Great. We've arranged it for your Lindsay to have the full-on modelling experience. Is that the kind of thing she's always wanted to do? Yeah, she yeah. that, yeah. We're going to get her a very own makeup artist, a personal stylist. We're going to get a, a professional photographer for a day's shoot in that fancy studio 
because at the end of that, we're going to present her with her very own portfolio. Brilliant. Pictures of herself. Absolutely fantastic. Do I kind of think she'd love that? She, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She would. You know what else we're going to do, I think? Because I don't think that's enough. We are going to VIP your Lindsay to a top fashion show. Brilliant. But she's not just going to watch. She's not going to watch what's happening. She is going to actually be in the fashion show, up and down the catwalk, strutting her stuff, striking a pose on the catwalk. Brilliant. Brilliant, fantastic. Would you like that? Absolutely brilliant, yeah. Can't thank you enough. Cheers, mate. Would you like that? Yeah, brilliant. Lindsay, is your dad right? Is it the dream? Yeah. Have you always... How long have you wanted to be a model? All this... I think since I was, like, a little girl. And I, I just... I thought I'd grow a lot taller. <laughs> you didn't? And I didn't. No? Well, can I just say, just hold that pose, because I hadn't quite finished speaking to your dad. Let's watch this. What do you like of heights? Not very good. No. OK, then just imagine... Okay, a shaky gangplank, okay, across a gorge with an 800 foot drop. No. <laughs> no. Could you walk across that? For Lindsay, to make Lindsay's dream come true, could you walk across that? Mod I don't know. I, I, I don't know about that. I, I, yeah, I'd do it. I'd do it for Lindsay, I think. Well, would it make it easier if you only had to go halfway across? <laughs> Scary. Frightening. When you get halfway across, you're going to have to jump over. <laughs> because if you want Lindsay's dream, the modelling experience to come true, you are going to have to complete the world's highest bungee jump. For Lindsay. So I keep putting Lindsay in your mind. Yeah. That's 800 foot. I know. Shaky breath. I'll do it for her, yeah. I'll do anything for her. Did I mention that it's in South Africa? You're joking. <laughs> that is where it is. So, that's just exactly how it is. If you want Lindsay's modelling dream to come true, you are going to have to complete the world's highest bungee jump in South Africa. 800 feet. Can you do that? Can you do that? Will you try and do that? Yeah, I'll try and do it, yeah. Better. Neil. You seem to be, like, taking that in your stride there. Did you actually realise what you'd taken on there? I didn't have a clue. It didn't hit me till I got back to work at three o'clock, and it was like a sledgehammer. It just... it was just... hell. What was it like, knowing that, knowing the dream was at, what was at hand for, for Lindsay, and, and keeping that a secret from her, knowing what it would mean to her? It was... that was one of the hardest things to keep it from Lindsay. But it was, it was just frightening. Mm. I had sleepless nights, didn't eat. I've been held to live with for, for weeks. <laughs> it was just horrendous. Just bad. Mm. And Lindsay, you, you know your dad well. What, what, how do you think he'd deal with a, a challenge like that? Do you think that's the kind of thing he can do? Is he that, a brave kind of guy in f that situation? Um, he's a warrior, a bit of a warrior. Yeah. But I know he's gutsy deep down. Mm. I, I think if, if, this, if he was put with it in front of him, he'd have a go. He'd have a go at anything. Mm. I think. Well, yeah, you think? <laughs> because the thing about it is, Lindsay, is no, and I know how much this modelling dream means to you, but if your dad doesn't bungee, then you will not catwalk. Okay? I wouldn't blame him if he did. Well, whilst Lindsay thought her dad Neil was off on a golfing holiday in Portugal, he was in fact <laughs> a little bit further. Actually, he was 6,000 miles further down to South Africa.
Welcome to South Africa, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, how are you feeling? You good? Yeah, a bit nervous, yeah. A bit nervous? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the place where you got to do it from tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. This is a challenge. This is it. You want to see the, it? This is a challenge. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. There you go. That's the challenge there. That's what you got to do, mate. Absolute nightmare. I just didn't picture it like that at all. It's quite high, isn't it? Yeah, it's higher than I thought. It's higher than I thought, yeah. I'm shaking a bit. Are you shaking? I'm shaking, yeah. <laughs> it's massive. What do you think? Can't see it. Can't see that at all. What? Can't see me doing that. No, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough. <laughs> what I've just seen is going to be to death. Um, it just blew me out of the water. But I, I'm, I'm saying it's here. I'm so proud of you, and I love you forever. You know that, and I'm just saying, if I can't, if I can't do that, this challenge tomorrow, please forgive me because it's uh, it's not my side with. Hiya, um, we've well, just had the roll call, uh, we're going to set off in about five or ten minutes to, to uh, try and attempt the challenge. As you can see, I'm absolutely petrified. I'm shaking like a leaf, trying to keep it from everybody, but uh, just being honest about things. If I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on me to do this. No way. Keep your money, it'll be safe. Don't, don't bet on me doing this. I feel sick. I feel sick at the moment. Um, I've never had anything like this. This is unbelievable. This is... Uh, it's frightening. It's, it's a funny feeling. It's like a, a buzz, but... A sick bus, and it's uh, it's frightening. It's frightening. You're a good man doing this for your daughter. Eh? I want to do it, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not so yeah. afraid of. How <laughs> <laughs> did you sleep? Okay, not bad. Okay. <laughs> when I open it, I saw this last night and it just blew me away. Just, yeah, uh, it's quite an amazing. Group. It just uh, blew my socks off. You just got to, you just got to appreciate that everyone. You're born with two fears in, in, in life, which is a fear of heights and a fear of loud loud noises. Yeah. Okay, so you just got to go with it. As we say, okay, everyone's scared. Fear is temporary. Regret is permanent. <laughs> yeah. King Kong, man. I, I definitely want to do this, you know, but uh, yeah. Okay, if you look over towards Blokrons, there she lies over there. Third highest bridge in the world, highest bridge in the southern hemisphere, and highest bungee in the world. We'll give you the countdown, five, four, three, two, one, bungee. On one, what you want to do is just fall forward, just topple forward as if you're about to dive into a swimming pool. As, as you start losing your balance, you can bend your knees and kick yourself up towards the mountains. You're going to have such a beautiful ride, I promise you. I don't want to look down at them, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep talking. Yeah. I just want to get through this, you know what I mean? Um, we're almost, we're actually almost on the arch. So, you know, the worst part, the worst part's actually over. Okay. The worst part's over. The worst part's over. That's good. Okay. Let's 
so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay, all I want you to do, Adam, is get that bloke down to me as quick as possible, you know what I mean? You'll be there, you don't worry. As you, quick as possible. You see, the thing is, Neil, you won't even realise, by the time you, by the, you'll actually still be bouncing. Yeah. And, 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 and then the guy's actually going to be down there with you. Adam, all I, I want to say to you is if you can get him down there as quick as possible. You won't even realise. Before you even realise it. Okay. Yeah. Adam, just yeah, what I'm doing, I want to just get that bloke down to me. Get him to open his Okay. Tell me he's on his way, you know what I mean? No problem. How you doing, mate? Okay, mate. You ready for it? Yep. Have okay. it. Have it. Have it. <laughs> can you do it? Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Can I give you a huggy? You can do, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I've, um... I've just got to remind everyone, this is the highest bungee jump in the world. 800 feet up. You look terrified, man. I was terrified as well. You know? Tell us yeah. about when you were standing up there. Yeah, it was frightening because uh, it was hard to get to the middle as it was. Mm. And all my wish was, if it was to get out there, was to go. But there was like a 30 minute, 45 minute pause, which made it every minute was Absolutely frightening. Lindsay heard your dad there, he was under it a bit. He said, you know, that if he was a betting man, he wouldn't bet on himself. And uh, if he didn't do it, you know what I mean, he'd hope you'd forgive him. What, what's your response to that? Well, of course, I don't think I'd do it. <laughs> it is, looks, I was feeling sick watching it. Mm. And I think he's got the worst one. You think so? Yeah, I think he could be a stand-up comedian yeah. on his own. <laughs> um, the fact I'll... that he's taking it on. Yeah, it means everything to me. Yeah. So whatever happens, it, it, as long the fact that he's tried it is more important to you than. Definitely. Yeah. More than anything. Do you want to have a look and see how it went? Yeah, he didn't have even have to try. No, you're not even bothered if you don't try. No. So you don't I want didn't to see. Have it. To, at well, let's have a look and see how it went, eh? Stepping forward, you're going to connect up. Okay, right. Check one, check, check two. two. Okay, Neil, you're connected now in two places to our system now, making you that 100% safe, my friend. Check on that. Beautiful. Okay, right, I'm taking this safety off. That's just yeah. your bridge safety. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please be safe. Lindsay. Lindsay. I did it. I did it, Lindsay, for you. I did it. Please. Love it. Love it. Okay, we're strapping you up again, eh? Okay, strap on in. Stand up. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was just uh, absolutely mind blowing, and uh, it's the sort of worst and best thing I've ever done. And uh, I said I'd do anything for you, Lindsay, and I've done it. And I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you, and I just love you to bits. And thanks. Some bottle or what, eh? Yeah. Tell us, how'd you feel, mate? That was absolutely awesome. Yeah, it was, I was just delighted. To, glad to get it all over with. I want to thank everybody. It was uh, The team was superb, including yourself. You said something real personal to me, and that gave me a big boost. And, uh, hey, Neil, it was all you, mate. You were the yeah, only yeah. person I know. I know. who jumped off of that. And if I'm going to be totally honest, you, what, what I really loved about it is that you were so honest about the fact that you might not be able to do it and, you know, how you're feeling. You wanted to apologise to Lindsay, but they say that once you've done it once, you just want to get back up and do it again. Do you feel like that? Whoever said that is... Uh, <laughs> absolute nutcase. Yeah? No, I would never do that again, no? ever. Lindsay, your dad, <laughs> you could see... <laughs> he was absolutely terrified. I could tell. He went pale here watching it. <laughs> well, have you got anything you want to say to your dad about going through all that for you? Yes, thank you very much. It's not and a you didn't need to. It's not a problem. <laughs> well, Lindsay the Green's there. You mentioned to your dad on the film that, you know, we're going to make you a model for the day. We're going to do you know, the best stylists, we're going to give you the best photographers, you're going to get your portfolio. But there is one um, little... There's a little bit of disappointing um, news for you, Lindsay. Um, the thing is, is that, as you might know, that the, the European and the UK fashion weeks have, have been and gone. Um, and that's the bad news. But the good news is we have found you a fashion week. And I hope you don't mind. It's a little bit of a way to go, but... We are going to whisk you off to Sydney, Australia, for the Australian fashion week. How do you think? What do you think of that? You oh, can get well, a nice well. bronze tan to do your cat walk. You happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Is that the kind of thing you're looking for? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's what you're going to be doing. Listen, Neil, you deserve these tickets, mate. And I think it's only fair that you should present them to Lindsay. OK, can I just say, uh, stars don't brag, they just shine. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me that. And I love you too, mate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Neil and Lizzie Thompson. That's great. That's great. Fantastic. Fantastic. What an incredible dream. And next week, we'll see Lindsay strutting her stuff on that catwalk in Sydney, Australia. And don't forget, we'll also see how David L gets on as he visits Memphis for the ultimate Elvis experience. Now, both Lindsay and David's dreams were made possible because two people cared enough to say, I'd do anything for them. Because remember, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life from what we give. Winston Churchill. <laughs> so, let's do something. Let's all do something. And next week, I'll be challenging two more people to see if they're willing to say, I'd do anything. Take it easy. Good night. I love you to death. Bye, everybody! If you'd like to surprise someone by making their dream come true and you're prepared to do anything to make it happen, then write to us at I Do Anything, P.O. Box 32559, London W4 2XU. Please remember to enclose a stamp address envelope.